Hello friends. Sag free education to all. Welcome. CA CPT Mass Part 1 ana nammude cheyan povunnathu. Part 1. Ratio. Okay. Learning objectives how to compute and compare two ratios okay effect of increase or decrease of a quantity on the ratio the concept and applications of inverse ratio adi namku endana ratio what is uh, ratios and noka Ratios are relationships expressed in mathematical terms between figures. For example, um, if out of 100 students, class, out of 100 students, 18, 80, 80 students are present. So out of 100, 18 students are present. So we can express it as 0.8 times. Clear? So ratio can be expressed in times. Clear? If we have a student, student number, number of students. No student number of students. That is the unit to say numbers. The number number get cancelled. Now, ratio is the number, unit is the unit. Now, we are going to get times. This is a percentage. Now, we are going to get 80. We are present. That is the total number of students 100 in which 18 are present multiplied by 100. It gives the percentage. So, 100, 100 get cancelled. 80% students are present in the class. Okay. Clear. So, not the point. Here, 80 number of students. Number of students. Okay. And this 100 is also number of students. Clear? So that means ratio exists only between quantities of the same kind. For example, uh, number of students, number of students in a class is 20 divided by salary of a teacher. Salary of a teacher um, 10,000 there is no ratio between the number of students and the salary of a teacher because here it is number and here it is salary amount rupees ratio same unit same unit kind same kind okay same kind means same unit idea for example another example ratio between uh, 150 gram and gm 2 kilogram pranoku idu gram aanu ivadan thana kilogram so now can the enum on the link kilogram in a gram like a gram and a gram in a kilogram like a gram. You would enjoy the kilogram in a converter into this unit gram. So thousand gram is equal to one kilogram. So which means two kilogram is equal to two thousand gram. Okay. Clear? Here, numerator 150 gram. 
okay so gram gram get cancel zero zero get cancel the ratio is 50 divided by 200 the material it can be solved into small numbers okay so in 15 5 3 times 25 4 times so again I got 3 by 40 clear in mathematics it is represented as 3 10 to 40 and it is read as 3 is to 40 this 3 by 40 is written as 3 after 3 2 dot then the denominator 40 and it is read as 3 is to 40 clear so number parana point is same unit consider the numerator is a and the denominator is B clear so this form can be written as a by B okay so it can be written as a is to B clear if a and B are two same kinds of quantities then the ratio between a and b is equal to a divided by b and it is it can be written as a is to b clear so what is ratio uh, what is ratio in the show this area and then a ratio in the show the answer is ratio is a comparison of the sizes of two or more quantities of the same kind by division if a and b are two quantities of the same kind means same units then the fraction a by b is called the ratio of a to b ratio it is called ratio of a to B clear and it is written as in at the paranu A is to B clear thus the ratio of A to B or A by B or A is to B I'm like an alarm for a to B I'm gonna worry I'm a little a by B I'll be gonna worry I'm a is to B all things are the same the quantities a and b are called the terms of the ratio this a and b are called terms terms okay terms of the ratio and this a a by b in which a and b are collectively known as terms clear And the A is called, this A is called first term, first term, first term, this A. And or another name, antecedent, A N T E. C E D E and T clear and the second term B it is known as consequent C O N S C Q U E N T clear for example so in the number of another a and B in the middle of A and B in collectively terms in the brain. More than A in a first term or uh, antecedent in the brain and target in the second term. C 
second term alangle c this is c da co consequent nu parayam clear okay for example um the ratio 4 is to 3 um the 4 and 3 are called terms clear terms and this 4 is known as first term or antecedent and the 3 is known as second term or consequent clear okay so in this chapter our learning objectives are how to compare this type of ratios effect of increase or decrease of a quantity on the ratio the concept and applications of inverse ratio please watch our next video part 2 for more problems thank you thank you please subscribe to our youtube channel for new video updates thank you once again